a renowned educator as far back as 1916 claimed that as our society becomes more complex, it is the duty of the adult members to provide a special environment which will cultivate the aptitudes of its young. Our country has acknowledged this fact, and this evening almost 600 of us can affirm that this college which we exit has truly nurtured us and has prepared us to participate meaningfully in the activities of our society and for our roles in national development. There are many conflicting views about the role of education in the development of a nation. Nevertheless, in spite of the different theories on the functions of education, we can all testify that this college has been unwavering in its mandate for us. Through our motto, Pursuit of Excellence, we were challenged to aim for high standards, that which we know will prepare us for life beyond this college. I call attention to these inescapable words, for they resounded in our school's anthem, stared at us from the school's wall, and believe it or not, echoed in some of our minds as we made our odyssey on these grounds. Everyone who has received a certificate today has in some measure pursued excellence. I can say confidently that I have, having graduated three times from this college. Needless to say, in that pursuit, there were joys as well as tears. There were moments of happiness and moments of frustration. Some of us will remember with a smile and eventual satisfaction the friendships that we made, the dates we had over Mr. Serie's muffins and dolls, the exciting Fridays of Arthur Ramos, and the thrill of victory of Francois House. Yeah. The uninvited visits of Dean Modest to the gazebos, the days on the college farm when we learned to castrate the pigs, the catheterizing of Amanda in the nurse's lab. We will also remember fondly the sacrifices of our parents and loved ones and the support of our lecturers. Similarly, we will remember with disdain and a bit of frustration the deadlines for assignments and individual studies, the preparation for teaching practice, the bites from insects as we sat under the trees waiting to enter our classrooms. <laughs> the inaccessibility of the computers for which we have paid. <laughs> the white nights which we spent studying accompanied by the crickets and other nocturnal creatures. <laughs> Nevertheless, as the saying goes, a gem must go through friction for it to shine. Today, we are all glowing as a result of our seemingly grueling experiences. Our cups are overflowing with knowledge which we have constructed right here at this college. Our business now is to go forth and impact positively on this nation. Therefore, to you, the student teachers of the Division of Teacher Education and Educational Administration, including you of the Bachelor of Education program, I charge you to maintain high levels of professionalism. This will necessitate always building on your knowledge you have acquired here, your practical knowledge, as well as your pedagogical content knowledge. I also charge you to produce your own knowledge by becoming action researchers and true reflective practitioners, remembering, as Sir Arthur Lewis stated, it is knowledge that will reduce poverty and not money. Take your students beyond the boundaries of school knowledge and the textbook and give them the opportunities to create knowledge themselves. Go ahead and transform the school curriculum, curriculum to the extent that your students not only learn that knowledge is constructed by others, but learn also how to critically analyze that knowledge and how to construct their own interpretations of the past, the present, and the future. 
To you, the nurses and midwives of the Department of Health Sciences, I urge you to go forth and transform our health institutions, even in the face of inadequacies. Apply your knowledge gained in microbiology, anatomy, and physiology, and especially first aid, so that lives will be saved. Yours is as important a role as the doctor's. Remember also that no longer will you be putting catheters on the doll in your lab, but you will be interacting with actual human beings. Therefore, demonstrate the att attributes of warmth and sensitivity as you undertake your task. To you, the students of the Division of Technical Education and Management Studies, as you assume positions in the various business, technical, and vocational areas, carry out your duties with pride and excellence. You are the new construction engineers, architects, quantity surveyors, automotive engineers, hoteliers, computer experts, and business administrators. You will be spread over a wide section of this nation, and the skills that you have gained from this division must be made manifest in your new careers. Remember, you young builders and carpenters, you will be working on actual houses, not toy houses. Take your position among the veterans in your field and show a difference in the quality of work that you produce. To you, the graduates of the Division of Arts, Science, and General Studies, as you take on adult roles in society, I remind you that there is much more knowledge to be gained. Pursue higher levels of learning, for what you have acquired now in languages and sciences are but specks in the macrocosm of learning. To you from the Division of Agriculture, by your works, I dare you to break the stereotypical view that agriculture is merely plain in soil. Inform our nation that you are scientists and economists. Let your knowledge of business management, marketing, and agricultural engineering transform the agricultural sector of this nation. And finally, to the masses of you who pursued evening courses from the Department of Continuing Ed, I challenge you to return to your workplaces with the knowledge that will render change in your different offices. Do not go back expecting to be upgraded automatically or to move up a higher salary scale, although that will be nice. <laughs> but return to work and let others see that you have learned. It is your knowledge that will assist. It is your knowledge, not money, that will assist in our nation building. And to all of us graduates, I say irrespective of divisions, we, have, we all have a substantial and unique contribution to make to the development of our country, our region, and beyond. When we leave here tonight, there is no label indicating that we are from A-level or DTEMS. There is no competition for which division is better than the other. The competition is now in the labor force. And what will make us survive is the way in which we apply different kinds of skills that we have acquired from this college. Fellow graduates, allow me to leave with you one of my favorite quotes as you continue your pursuit of excellence outside this college. What lies behind us and what lies before us are tiny matters compared to what lies within us. Therefore, Draw your strength from within you. Armor yourself with knowledge. Work honestly and assiduously. And tell yourselves always, as I always do, I can do all things in Christ who strengthens me. Congratulations to us all on our achievements. Farewell, my friends. Adios a todos. Au revoir tout le monde. Chebewed Pamoli. Yeah.